Hey guys, what's going on? It's October EMP, and if you haven't heard already, iOS 3 for the iPhone 4 and iPad and so on have been released as of probably about 45 minutes to an hour ago, right around 1 o'clock, and it's updated the iPad in quite a few different categories, so I'm just going to show you guys exactly what's been updated and that kind of stuff, just so you know, um, if your iPad's jailbroken, if it's worth upgrading to you, and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to get started with the first thing that's been upgraded. A very wanted upgrade on the iPad side of things. Right down here, right down here, you can see it has the lock rotation. And you can now change that to lock rotation or mute. I like mine at lock rotation. I didn't like that they made it the mute, so... That's what I'm going to keep it as. So the next thing that I want to talk about is iTunes sharing. Now what that is, is you'll be able to, as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, you'll be able to connect to your Mac or your iTunes and be able to stream that, mu that music or video or whatever it may be, podcast, to any of your iOS devices. Now to set this up, what you're going to have to do is go into settings, go over here to iPod and then down here it says home sharing and you can just put in your password and your username then all that when that's all done you can come in here to iPod and it will have all of your music right here you can press on that and, it, and um, you can see it says you're at your iPad it has your iPad there and then it has the libraries that are shared with your iOS devices. And then you can go through your podcasts, your audiobooks, and when you first come into um iTunes without putting your password in, it's just gonna have the normal categories on the um it's gonna have the normal you know music that you have downloaded onto your device. And I don't have any music downloaded onto my device because I don't use it for that purpose. So this is gonna be great. Um you know, enable me to listen to music more often on it without having to waste storage because I have so many apps that I really can't sacrifice, you know, putting so many songs or whatever movies on there. So this is very cool for me. Um, probably it will be a good idea for a lot of you guys to get this as well, or to use this as well. So the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is Safari um, performance. As you can see, the iPad has a pretty great browser. That's one of its main features. It's, you know, known for just being a great browsing experience. And what the Apple's done is enhanced the performance of the Safari so it can be even better. So as you can see right here on Google.com, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to YouTube. And you can see it's kind of sped up a little bit. Now I have somewhat of a fast connection speed. I usually run between 7 or 9 megabits per second. But this is much faster than it's been in the past. Even opening up the application and it coming to the page is much faster. The application loading, it's obviously there's been an upgrade with the performance. It's hard to tell without having another iPad right next to you. And I don't have another iPad so I won't be able to compare. But just browsing, doing general browsing for the past half an hour definitely can tell that the performance has been definitely enhanced. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is streaming. You will now be able to use AirPlay with some more features um, including third-party applications and other video players just be able to stream right to your Apple TV. This is a great feature. I'm not really sure exactly what applications have or not and I'm not gonna you know waste time trying to find one right now but you can look forward to many different applications being able to stream to your Apple TV or you know what have you that you can stream to. The final thing I just wanted to mention is the mobile hotspot. Now people are going to be able to have this on their iPhone 4 and I don't I'm not going to be updating my iPhone 4. It's right here, but it is jailbroken, so there's no reason for me to update and lose that jailbreak just yet especially since the iPhone 5 is coming out in a couple months there's no real reason for me to update and lose my jailbreak and it's a whole process for some reason I can't update on my own computer and I have to go to another computer and sync up it's, it's just a whole 
long process I don't really have to want to deal with. So that's pretty much it about the iOS 4.3 update. If I find any new small features, I'll make sure to make a quick video about them if, if I can find enough of them. Um, but that is it. Make sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.